Hello friends, this is Dr. Pawan Tambade, working as assistant professor in chemistry at Maratha Vidya Prasarak Samaj, Nashik. In this video lecture, we will see SN1 reaction under nucleophilic substitution at aliphatic carbon atom topic. Now in last few lectures, we explore SN2 type of reactions. During initiation of this topic, we have seen some key observations in nucleophilic substitution reactions and those key observations are in nucleophilic substitution reaction during the course of reaction there is a breaking of carbon leaving group bond and there is a formation of carbon nucleophile bond. Nucleophilic substitution reaction varies according to substrate. If you change the substrate the rate of reaction changes and the outcome of reaction also changes. In some cases rate of reaction is depending upon concentration of substrate only that is alkyl halide. However, in certain cases rate of reaction is depending upon concentration of substrate that is alkyl halide as well as concentration of nucleophile which we saw in SN2 type of reaction. The stereochemical outcome of SN reaction is found to be different when we are having different chiral substrates and depending upon all these observations there are two major types of nucleophilic substitution reaction one is SN1 and other one is SN2 type of reaction so in this video we are going to explore SN1 type of reactions dear friends in order to understand this SN1 reaction first of all consider one reaction in which this tertiary alkyl halide which act as a substrate or electrophile reacts with some nucleophilic species like in this case methanol which will give this type of product. When we investigated this type of nucleophilic substitution reaction of tertiary alkyl halide with respect to substrate and nucleophile we found that the rate of reaction is depending upon concentration of substrate means when we increase the concentration of substrate the rate of reaction also forms to be increases. It means the rate of reaction is depending upon concentration of our tertiary alkyl halide or substrate. However, when we did same type of experiment with our nucleophile in this case methanol then it has been observed that if we alter the concentration of nucleophile there is no change on rate of reaction. Rate of reaction remains almost constant. Thus with change in concentration of nucleophile the reaction rate remains unchanged. That is there is no appreciable effect of concentration of nucleophile on outcome of reaction. So from this observation it is very clear that in this type of example or in this type of reaction rate of reaction is depending upon concentration of substrate only and it is independent of concentration of nucleophile. Such reactions are called as substitution nucleophilic unimolecular because in this case substitution by nucleophile is occurring however rate of reaction is depending upon concentration of electrophile only and it is independent of concentration of this nucleophile. So such reactions are called as substitution nucleophilic unimolecular and these reactions are abbreviated by SN1 symbol. So this is SN1 reaction. Now we will see the reaction mechanism involved in SN1 type of reactions. For that again consider a same example where this tertiary alkyl halide reacts with methanol which act as a nucleophile to give this type of product. We already saw that in this case rate of reaction is depending upon concentration of substrate only and it is independent of concentration of nucleophile. When such reactions were investigated it has been observed that during the course of such reaction the reaction outcome is different in different cases. When we start with some chiral molecule we will get different different types of product and based on those observation it has been concluded that this SN1 type of reaction 
occurs in stepwise mechanism. So, in SN1 mechanism, there is a loss of living group happens before attack of nucleophile on electrophilic species. And the stepwise mechanism of such reaction can be like this. In the very first step, there is a breaking of bond between carbon and living group. Dear friends, in this case, this chlorine is acting as a living group. There is a bond between carbon and this living group. So, in very first step, this bond between carbon and chlorine breaks and there is a formation of carbocation intermediate. This step is found to be a rate determining step. This step is slow, it is a rate determining step and if you look at this step, there is no involvement of nucleophile in this step and because of that, rate of reaction is depending upon this particular step which have only electrophile. And thus we said that rate of reaction is depending upon concentration of substrate and not on nucleophile. After formation of this carbocation, this carbocation is highly unstable and this carbocation comes in contact with nucleophilic species and it gets attacked and there is a formation of this type of species. Because this carbocation is highly reactive, immediately it will re react with nucleophile and thus this step is first step. In last step, there is a deprotonation or a proton transfer and this hydrogen is transferred from this oxygenium ion to this chloride negative and we will get our expected product. So, this is the general mechanism of SN1 type of reaction. I will repeat one more time. In SN1 type of reaction, in the very first step, there is a breaking of bond between carbon and living group. There is a formation of carbocation. After formation of this carbocation, this carbocation is highly reactive, unstable species. So, it gets attacked by nucleophile and we will get product after proton transfer. So, this is SN1 reaction. If you go through energy profile diagram of SN1 reaction, it will look something like this. In this energy profile diagram, there are two energy of activations we can observe. In case of SN2 reaction, we had only one energy of activation because in SN2 reaction, reactant is directly converted into product without formation of any reactive intermediate because it was a concerted mechanism. But in case of SN1, there is a formation of reactive intermediate and thus we can see this type of energy profile diagram. So, in this case, at this step, there are reactants. In our example, this tertiary alkyl halide and methanol are our reactants, electrophile and nucleophile respectively. In the very first step, we saw that there is a breaking of this carbon chlorine or carbon living group bond and during breaking of this bond, we can have this type of step where energy is increases. And after that, this bond breaks completely and get converted into this carbocation intermediate. So, at this step, there is a carbocation intermediate. After formation of this carbocation intermediate, this carbocation intermediate is highly unstable and it get attacked by nucleophile. So, this carbocation get attracted by a nucleophile and because of that, there is an enhancement in energy and that is energy of activation 2. And after that, there is a formation of bond between this carbon and nucleophilic oxygen and we will get this type of product. So, this is energy profile diagram of SN1 type of reaction in which we can observe two energy of activation. And here you can see this is delta H that is uh, energy change between reactant and products. It may be positive or it may be negative depending upon type of substrate we are having in nucleophilic substitution reactions. Now we will see reactivity of the substrates in SN1 type of reaction. Dear friends, in SN1 reaction, the key observation is more substituted alkyl halide react faster in SN1 reactions. For example, if suppose we are having this type of alkyl halide. This is methyl halide, this is primary alkyl halide, 
this is secondary alkyl halide and this is tertiary alkyl halide i guess you are able to find out primary secondary and tertiary in this case the halogen is attached to carbon which is further attached to one carbon containing say group so this is primary alkyl halide in this case halogen is attached to carbon which is further attached to two carbon containing groups so this is secondary alkyl halide and here this leaving group is attached to carbon which is further attached to three different carbons and thus this is tertiary alkyl halide so we observe that in sn1 reaction the more substituted alkyl halides react faster than less substituted so in these examples this tertiary alkyl halide is found to undergo sn1 type of reaction faster and these methyl halides do not at all undergo sn1 type of reaction and rate of sn reaction increases in this particular pattern tertiary alkyl halide shows maximum rate followed by secondary and so on the reason behind this trend is the stability of carbocation because we know that during sn1 type of reaction in the very first step there is a breaking of bond between carbon and leaving group and there is a formation of carbocation intermediate and we know that tertiary carbocation intermediates are more stable than secondary than primary than methyl carbocation and because of that in sn1 reaction we can see this type of trend in rate of reactions now consider this general sn1 type of reaction where rx reacts with nucleophilic species like water and there is a formation of alcohol as a product so in this case we can have different different types of substrates depending upon structure of this r so dif different possible structure which we can have are like this in this case this is a primary alkyl halide which react with water to produce alcohol this is secondary alkyl halide and this is tertiary alkyl halide the other condition of reactions are almost same and we can observe this type of product in this reaction so this is primary secondary and tertiary alkyl halides in this case it has been observed that the rate of reaction by sn1 path in primary alkyl halide is approximately 1 then compared to primary alkyl halide the rate of reaction for secondary alkyl halide is 12 times faster however if alkyl halide is tertiary then rate of reaction is found to be 1.2 into 10 to the power 6 so tertiary alkyl halide undergo sn1 reaction faster however primary alkyl halide they do not undergo sn1 type of reaction instead of sn1 they undergoes sn2 type of reaction so in substitution nucleophilic unimolecular that is sn1 reaction we made some key observation the rate of reaction depends upon substrate concentration only and it is independent of concentration of nucleophile the mechanism of sn1 reaction is step wise in the very first step there is a formation of carbocation the carbocation so form is stabilized by many factors and then it is attacked by nucleophile which results in formation of expected product tertiary alkyl halides are more reactive than secondary than primary alkyl halide in case of sn1 type of reaction so these are some general and key observations in sn1 reaction i hope in this video lecture you understand what is sn1 reaction and what are the basic features of sn1 reaction thank you very much for watching this video